Weather-wise, the last weekend of May felt pretty mild. Think about Memorial Weekend, how hot and humid it was, and the summer-like storms that came up in the afternoon. This weekend, totally different, almost cool in the morning, bone dry for the last few days. It felt like we weren't going to find a dry day at this time last week. Well, all of that changes. We have flipped the calendar to June, summertime heat, that humidity, that's what's on deck for us. 83 is where we sit right now. I put the top and low temperature for today and the normals, just so you could kind of see where we are as to where we usually are. So today we hit 84, the normal 82, but look at the lows. We woke up at 53, normally 62. We've had these cool mornings because of the dry air that's been in place, the comfortable air that's been in place. Dry air heats and cools up more efficiently than moist air. That's a key change this week. That's what's going to help send the mercury rising northward. will be about 5 to 10 degrees above normal Tuesday, Wednesday. A little bit of a dip as we head into Thursday, Friday. But that's just because rain chances come back in and some rain cooled air will stunt the mercury a little bit. So for perspective's sake, we'll be around 90 for most of this week. Normal 82. We are headed into a hot pattern and a humid pattern. So expect that heat to build each day. The moisture is also going to build each day. With it comes a return for at least some afternoon rain chances, especially on Thursday and Friday. We'll have a little bit of energy to work with. No big boom in storm systems are expected. No big washouts are expected. But with that, that means no relief from the heat either. So you want to expect it to become more oppressive as we head towards the weekend. I was uh, writing about this on social media earlier. One of the best things you can do when we transition to those summer like patterns is be proactive, especially for kiddos. You want to hydrate before you go out. You want to plan on some shady breaks or some cool air breaks. Quiet skies right now, whole lot of nothing going on across Tennessee and Kentucky. That will also change as we head towards the middle and end of the week. Small peak in rain chances as we head towards Thursday and Friday. Spotty in nature, like I said, it's not going to rain sun up to sundown this week. The best chance for any rain will be in that Thursday, Friday time frame. So if you haven't mowed yet, you want to plan on some time to do that. Overnight tonight, we are fairly quiet. We'll see skies clear as we head into the overnight hours or stay clear. A little bit of patchy fog, not impossible, especially with that moisture starting to creep back in. Noticeably warmer tomorrow morning, and you know if we start warmer, it's just a head start to finish warmer. So 60s near normal. That's where we'll be for pretty much every morning this work week. And then we look to touch 90 degrees tomorrow. That would make it the second 90 degree day so far this year, but it is not the only one in the seven day forecast. We look to do 90 again. That little 10% chance for rain on Wednesday. That would mainly be near the Alabama border. We'll perk up just a little bit Thursday, Friday, just because we're going to get a little more energy sliding in. There's actually a weak cold front that's going to come towards us. It won't open the door towards any real relief from the heat and humidity, but it will open the door for a few showers and storms as we head towards the end of the week. Drying conditions and still quite hot, Rory, as we head towards the weekend.